Now moving forward for the rest of the evening into tomorrow, I just checked with the Storm Prediction Center. They issue areas across the United States that might see some severe weather. For tomorrow, we are under a marginal category, so that does mean we still have the potential to see some of these tomorrow. Here's what we have going forward, though. We still have storm warnings in place for the Cascade, for the Northern Cascades. Whatcom County, uh, Skagit County, you've got these in place till 10 p.m. Winter weather advisory, so we could get up to two feet, three feet of snow here. Winter weather advisory downgraded a bit. We expect another two feet of snow here, so not quite as much. And then we still have the avalanche warnings that were in place as well today. There's the big picture. That's the storm coming through. We're not done yet. Look at this batch of energy. This is going to give us some more rain, and it looks like some more wind. When? Well, the wind will happen on Thursday. We have high wind watches in place along the coast beginning Thursday at 1 a.m. through Thursday at 4 p.m. We also have those in place for the Northwest Interior. Remember what we did on Friday with the strong winds? Eerily similar. It's a very similar pattern with the storm track that it's taking. So we'll watch for some of these winds closely. Here's Futurecast. Uh, 630 this evening. Notice those showers coming through rather strong. By 830, we're seeing scattered showers. So I know a lot of people are trying to get into their homes or maybe they've lost some of their homes or part of their homes. We still have some rain in the forecast. 10 o'clock, scattered showers. Here we go. Uh, by midnight, we're starting to see a couple of breaks. By Wednesday morning for the morning commute, maybe a few scattered showers. We fast forward to the afternoon commute, mostly cloudy conditions. The big storm I just showed you, that's Wednesday 5.30. So it starts to knock on our door. By Thursday at 5 o'clock for the morning commute, there are the strong winds. There's the heavy rain. So we have another storm to deal with. The ground is very saturated, as you know, and yes, we are going to have some strong winds Thursday. Here's a look at the seven-day forecast for you. Again, a marginal chance of seeing some severe weather across western Washington tomorrow. Highs at about 51. We've got uh, AM showers, partly cloudy conditions, so not a whole lot of energy to work with tomorrow. That's good news. However, we do get more rain on Thursday. Winter officially begins on Friday. We'll get some showers and some sun breaks, and then as we go into the weekend, maybe a couple of on and off showers for the Seahawks game. Well, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, we've got some more scattered showers in the forecast. So Mark and Lori, we continue to watch the radar tonight and for the week ahead. We'll send it back to you.